Hello, everyone, and welcome to the today's daily devotion from the lectionary. It's Monday, Thursday today, and I got to tell you, I'm feeling I'm feeling a little sad. I wish that I could um, be worshiping with you all tonight in your presence. Um, I miss you. But these words today from John 13 brought me some comfort. So here they are. Just before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that the time had come to leave this world to go to God. Having loved his dear companions, he continued to love them right into the end. It was supper time. The devil by now had Judas firmly in his grip, all set for the betrayal. Jesus knew that God had put him in charge of everything, that he came from God and was on his way back to God. So he got up from the supper table, set aside his robe, and put on an apron. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the feet of the disciples, drying them with his apron. When he got to Simon Peter, Peter said, Master, you wash my feet? Jesus answered, You don't understand now what I'm doing, but it will be clear enough to you later. Peter persisted, You're not going to wash my feet ever. Jesus said, If I don't wash you, you can't be a part of what I'm doing. Master, said Peter, not my feet only then. Wash my hands, wash my head. Jesus said, if you've had a bath in the morning, you only need your feet washed now, and you're clean from head to toe. My concern, you understand, is holiness, not hygiene. So now you're clean, but not every one of you. He knew who was betraying him. That's why he said, not every one of you. After he had finished washing their feet, he took his robe, put it back on, and went back to his place at the table. Then he said, Do you understand what I have done to you? You address me as teacher and master, and rightly so. That is what I am. So if I, the master and teacher, washed your feet, you must now wash one another's feet. I've laid down a pattern for you. What I've done, you do. I'm only pointing out the obvious. A servant is not ranked above his master. An employee doesn't give orders to the employer. If you understand what I'm telling you, act like it and live a blessed life. When he had left, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is seen for who he is, and God seen for who he in him is. The moment God is seen in him, God's glory will be on display. In glorifying him, he, is glo he himself is glorified. Glory all around. Children, I am only with you for a short time longer. You are going to look high and low for me. But just as I told the Jews, I'm telling you, where I go, you're not able to come. Let me give you a new command. Love one another. In the same way I loved you, you love one another. This is how everyone will recognize that you are my disciples when they see the love that you have for one another. Love one another in the same way that I've loved you. You must love each other. If I could give a 10 word wrap up of the whole entire Bible, a 10 word sermon, there it is. In the same way I loved you, love one another. Amen period. That's it. So many times, though, people try to put limits on these words. Love one another, except love one another when, love one another if, love one another but. Jesus, though, said this, I love you. Love one another. No ifs, no ands, no buts. Love one another. But in case this isn't clear enough, here we go. For those of you whose hearts are full of joy and hope today, I love you. Love one another. For those of you whose hearts are full of despair and longing, I love you. Love one another. For those of you who look at the Bible and say, I get it. I love you. Love one another. And for those of you who look at the Bible and say, I don't know if I understand. I love you. Love one another. 
Whether you are Catholic, Lutheran, Methodist, Presbyterian, Baptist, non-denominational, Jewish, Hindu, Buddhist, Muslim, or atheist, I love you. Love one another. Whether you agree with somebody else's lifestyle, the way they vote, what they post on Facebook, or how they spend their money, I love you. Love one another. If you are a high school senior missing out on some very special, important events and time with friends, if you're a teacher or school professional missing your students, if you're a mother or father hurting for your children, if you're an athlete missing out on a season, a thespian missing out on a performance, a traveler missing out on a vacation, I love you. Love one another. If you're scared, I love you. Love one another. If you're if you're angry, I love you. Love one another. If you're hopeless, I love you. Love one another. If you're tired, I love you. Love one another. For those of you who are bullied, I love you. Love one another. And for those of you who bully, I love you. Love one another. Whether your hair is black or brown or blonde or gray or, or red, whether your skin is light or dark or somewhere in between, whether you're tall or short, heavy or light, whether you look in the mirror and like what you see or if you look in the mirror and wish that you saw something differently, I love you. Love one another. For those of you isolated in a house by yourself, missing your family and friends and longing for human touch, I love you. Love one another. For those of you locked in a house with way too many people, longing to find some space to be alone, I love you. Love one another. When you turn on the news and you're filled with frustration and revulsion, I love you. Love one another. Whether you are conservative, liberal, progressive, traditional, voting or non-voting, I love you. Love one another. For those of you who opened this, this devotion up this morning and you feel like you've got it all together, I love you. Love one another. For those of you who came here this morning broken, I love you. Love one another. Regardless of your gender, race, class, sexual orientation, or creed, I love you. Love one another. There is nothing that you can do to earn this love. There's nothing that you can do to deserve this love. Just live your life in response to this love. And let this love be the lens through which you read your Bible. Let this love be the filter through which you choose your words and your actions. Let this love be the eyes through which you see yourself and all other people. Amen.